Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey Jansen. I am live today, September 19th, 2018. It is around 12, 17 my time. All right, why am I going live today? I keep getting called out over the situation right now with the NBA and with the football and everything else. And uh, my buddy Steve and several of my, you know, it's really funny because there's a difference in opinions from the old, you know, people that say they're part of the old core to people that say they're part of the new core. First off, I want to let you know that you matter. Everybody that I talk to matters. You're important. I hope you're having a great day today. I hope that life is finding you great. I hope you're reading some good books today and everything else. But today, because I keep getting called out and it's starting to bother me because I don't want to have an opinion on certain things. Now, a lot of people know my opinion on boycotting stuff. I, I think it's stupid. I want, to under, I want people to understand my viewpoint on something. I really don't care what people's opinions are. <laughs> and that's how each and every person should be. It doesn't Because there's going to be naysayers anywhere you go in life. It doesn't matter where you take a stand at. Okay, as long as you have a firm stand, there's always going to be somebody that's going to be exact opposite for you. In fact, one of the things I used to love to do in college, and I actually did a little bit after college, and at Marine Corps, is I used to protest the protesters. Just because it was fun. I didn't care what their cause was. I didn't go either to the right or the left of either cause. I just protested the protesters because it was my right to protest the protesters. Now, I've had a lot of people call me out on what my opinion is on the Kaepernick situation. Okay, uh, the football player that kneels before. Quite frankly, I don't know. I don't watch football. I don't. I'm one of those very few people that it doesn't, you know, I got mad at the baseball strike when they were going to refuse to play their best unless they got paid top dollar, okay? Uh, there's a lot of great people on both sides of the argument within the Kavanaugh situation. So what I tell people is why don't you look at something different from Nike? Look that they actually put out a news release about two years ago saying that they don't care about slave labor. They don't care that they they hire people for 50 cents a day over in places that were from Vietnam, Thailand, several countries. And to me, that's more important than, Cavern than supporting Kavanaugh. You know, when you're exploiting slave labor to get your product out. That's where my beef would be with Nike. The problem is I don't care if something's name brand or not. I'm not that type of a person because it kind of conflicts with the reason why I joined the Marine Corps in the first place. We joined the Marine Corps, and some will tell you for college, it's true. We joined the service to protect our country, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. We protect every part of Congress, the House, the President, okay? And for us to basically have a viewpoint on something like kneeling for the flag because we want to make a law says you can't do it <clears throat> is actually taking away a freedom that we swore to protect. <clears throat> it doesn't matter how bad the person is. It doesn't matter if they give them to the charity. It doesn't matter if they're making a viewpoint on something. If you're real military, you cannot weigh in on it. You can have an opinion on it. But to weigh in means the very freedoms that we are sworn to protect, that we are sworn to uphold are the very freedoms we're trying to take away because, oh, we're, they're disrespecting our military brothers and sisters. They're disrespecting police officers. That's true. So I'd rather stay neutral. I would rather me turn off, but I never watched it in the first place. So the best way to get something done is not go to a military person because we're going to be, we're radical. We're all over the place. But the fact is, we would still go defend Kaepernick's decision because that is his right. We'd also go defend anybody else that wants to pray. It's their right. We're going to go defend your right to, to study and practice your religion, free speech, you know, freedom of press, okay, freedom to assemble. Those are your freedoms. And we're uphold. We're going to protect it. I didn't sign anything that says I stop becoming a Marine once I'm out. I can't take a stance on it. 
And when somebody gets mad at me because they, guess what? I We all have stuff that's from the passion. No one's going to give up their cars and blow them up because of a football player. You know, no one's going to sit there and try to give away all their clothes. And, and even though they sit there and say that, you know, I have people trying to boycott Peter Rabbit because they used an EpiPen. I have people trying to boycott, you know, people, things, places because they felt the service was bad because they felt the coffee was bad so to ask me where I stand on it as a marine as a, I'm, I gotta protect the guy's freedoms as a citizen do I agree with his viewpoints no but he has every right to do them and if I take away his rights then that means somebody can come take away my rights but people forget to look at it like that so I don't want to have a viewpoint on it I don't want to weigh in on it. Not because I'm not strong, not because I can have a stance. In fact, I'm the loudest person when it comes to a lot of things. But for the fact is, you know, people want gay rights. That's fine, that's their problem. And I will protect their right to marry whoever they want. But if those gay rights people decide to tell me that because I have a traditional way of thinking that marrying a woman needs to be taken away, well, how is that fair? See, it goes both ways. That's how you need to look at life. Life goes both ways. The second you start looking at one thing, remember there's a whole other side that's going to pull you in the other direction. So I'll stay neutral on it. Why? Because I want my freedoms. I want this country to be the best country there is, you know? Why don't we start going ahead and unlocking congressmen and senators' sealed records they do by presidents and everything else? Hey, why don't we do that? Maybe that might shed some light on some stuff. That's more important than this whole Kaepernick thing. Nike allowing sweatshops overseas and boycotting them for that is more important than somebody kneeling for the flag that isn't hurting anybody. Is it disrespectful? Of course it is. Of course. Because of the reason why I do it? Of course it is. 98, 99% of all police officers are good. 98, 99% of all the police forces, ICE and everybody else in the world are in the United States are heroes and they need to be recognized as that. But to recognize and give basically what we're doing is we're giving him and, and Nike an audience right now is what we're doing and that gives other people the strength to keep moving forward so in other words we're giving hope to a cause of him getting more money instead of a hope to a cause of hey let's make our you know country better you know why are we electing people that keep you know stealing from the people so anyway let's not have a viewpoint on it and let's just be normal so don't ask me my viewpoint on it because I'm going to be neutral it's just who I am. Do I have Nike clothing? I'm sure I do. I don't even know what kind of clothing. You know what I wear most of the time? Marine Corps stuff and Legal Shield stuff. That's what I wear a majority of the time. If there's a Nike symbol on it or something like that, I don't know. I don't bother knowing a name brand. Legal Shield is not a name brand of clothing. It's my passion. It's what I do. Marine Corps, it's not a name brand. It's the name that we are given that all Marines are given. Officers enlisted, no matter what your rank, we are Marines. Marine. There's no other term for us. <coughs> now, you can use jarhead and stuff like that, but we're all Marines. So I wear it. We're neutral. That's what it's about. Protect those that cannot protect themselves. Defend the weak. Don't freaking fight their battles for them, but defend them. Protect them. So that they can fight their own battles. And let the cards fall where they fall. Let the cards lay. And in the end, you'll find out that the better of the two will, will, it'll be out there, you know? So it's an area that can be very confusing. So anyway, my name is Jeffrey Jansen. I appreciate each and every one of you. Love you all. I'd rather me sit there and tell you you matter and for you to go out and pay it forward and tell others they matter than worry about some stupid TV show or worry what's on the freaking news or whatever else. Go read a book. Go play with your kids. Go give your wife or your husband a big hug and kiss. You know, send them flowers today. How about that? There's an idea. It's Wednesday. Send them flowers out of the blue. When's the last time you did something like that? Do it. Send a little I love you note and put it in their wallet or something. Send them a text message thinking of you. Love you today. Do something positive. Quit worrying about the news. Quit worrying about Kaepernick. You know, that judge, that the Supreme Court judge... It's kind of like this. You know they're playing politics. However, if he did do something, it needs to come to the forefront. Seriously. And she should not be shamed or shunned. However, 
if she if he didn't do nothing and this is a political game, people should be thrown in jail for playing this little game because they're trying to get their politics put out there. Either way, if it doesn't, you know, it doesn't smell right. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't pass the sniff test. So if something happened, it needs to be done. Anyway. I'll go on later. It's just my buddy Steve was sitting there going after a couple of my friends. And it's kind of like, you got to understand, people come from different races, makes, models, whatever else. They don't care about opinions all the time. You just have to know that you matter and your viewpoints matter. Okay? But if you're going to attack people to try to take away their freedom, yet you're responsible for protecting freedom, you might want to stay neutral. Anyway, I'll talk to everybody later. God bless everybody. Make sure to hug and kiss your kids. Make sure you tell them. Make sure if you're going to go for your, a new position at work, you study hard. Go in, get a resume. If you're out there working it up, you know, have confidence in yourself. Have confidence in what you do. This whole debate with the football and everything else, I can't have confidence in myself because I stand neutral. Because I don't have a, I don't stand either on either side. Because either side I stand on, I am basically going against my own personal judgment, my own personal belief system, my own personal rules. It doesn't matter. So I have to stay in the middle because I don't, I can't have an opinion or tell anybody else what they can or cannot do. I'm sorry. But I can tell you about the Nike thing, it's because of the sweatshops. I don't like them because of that. So, anyway, take it easy, everybody. I will talk to everybody later. God bless.